In this tutorial, we are going to learn types of variables in Catalan Studio and how to use each type of variable in your project. There are three types of variables in Catalan Studio, groovy variables, test case variables and global variables. Let's look at them one by one. For this, I'm taking a blank test case, new test case. We will test where so in the script mode i will define the variables you can define the variables as for example string variable as string str is equal to print this text uh, integer variable as integer uh, i is equal to suppose to or uh, integer j is equal to 10. You can also define these variables as def. Def example, def sum is equal to i plus j. Now I will print this to check these variable values. Let's execute. We will see the console. See, it has executed the script. It started the test case. str defined the str defined i j values, then sum and printed string str. As print this text and print ln sum as 12 as 10 plus 2. So this way we can define and use the groovy variables. Next we will see test case variables. Test case variables uh, for this I have uh, taken the already existing test case uh, of uh, Cura Healthcare Services and uh, here we have logged into the application and performed few actions and uh, booked the appointment for the healthcare for test case the defined variables you find in the uh, variables tab over here so you go to variables tab currently we do not have any variable which is defined over here now we will define a variable for example add we will click on add and variable. We will name this variable as username. And we will give the default value to this variable. I will copy the value from our test. Then I will add one more variable, password. Here you have many uh, variable types, boolean, number, you can pick one of the, them. For username and password, we need strings, so we will use string. So uh, we, we have defined these test case variable these test case variable are used or limited to these te test case only so we cannot use these uh, these variables out of this test case for now we can change this name to username because we have defined in the variable and this password as password as we have already defined in the variable i will change it to set text uh, in manual mode it looks like this you can see the username variable is taken in the manual mode as well to if you want to add the test case variable in manual mode you have to click here and give the value type as variable Select the value type as variable and enter 
the variable name. You get the options to select the variable name which you have defined there in the test case variables. So you can select the variable from here and uh, you are able to define it. Same way with the password, you select the variable uh, as a value type and the va value as variable name. Now let's uh, check and execute this. Let's minimize the browser so that we can see that it is executing and taking the values. We need to check that the uh, username and password field values are taking from the variable that we have defined as a test case variable. Yes, it is taking the value for username. Now let's check for the password. It has taken the value for the password as well. And logged in successfully. I will stop this for here itself because uh, we just wanted to check whether the username and password values are taking from the variable test case variable so this is about test case variable uh, we will uh, next learn about global variables to learn about global variables i will remove these variables from here from the uh, test case variables that we have defined i will delete those we will go to profiles and we will define the variables. I have shared my tutorial about profiles in my another video. What is profile? How to use it? Why to use it? So I have shared the link for video related to profiles in description below. Check that and learn about profiles. Here we have to define the variable as username and enter the value one more variable i will add is password here also you have very various variable types you can choose from one of them for now we need string variable type so i will select string enter the value for password and we have defined the global variables i will close this profiles global variables you can use anywhere in your project in in any test case of your project i will open my test case and here i will give how to use these variables global variables in your test case i will use this word global variable dot when you click dot you will get the list of your variables so you can use one of them so i have taken the username for same with the password global variable dot password so this way you define the global variable and use them in your project. In manual mode, you can see these variables like this. You can configure these variables, global variables in manual mode as you click here. And for test case variable, we have selected variable value type. Now for global variable, we have to select global variable as a value type and select the one of the variable from the list of the variable. Uh, global variables can be used anywhere in your project in any test case once defined now you have defined the global variable username and password you can use this global variable username and password in another test case you can use this in this test case or this test case any test case okay but the test case variables you can use only in the same test case not in another test case same with the groovy variables how you define the groovy variables it depends on it that you can use it anywhere in the project or no
So we will execute this to check whether it is accepting this global variable values or no. I am minimizing it. And it has taken the username from the global variable. It has also taken the password from the global variable. And clicked login and logged in successfully. I will stop the execution for now. This way you can use the groovy variables, test case variables, global variables as per your requirement in the project. Please do like and subscribe by clicking buttons given below this video. For any questions, please mention in the comments below. Thank you.